everybody, this is the Big Dog back with your Crumble Cookery Cookie Review for October the 3rd. As you can see by the intro, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, we've all been affected by it. Everybody. It's got a friend, got family, somebody out there um, that's been affected by breast cancer. I got... My family alone, you know, shout out to Rose, Patty, neighbor Michelle, my second mother growing up, Miss Betts. Um, a lot of us don't have the time and the money to, to, to support this, but a lot of people, you can support somebody that you know that has it or has had it just by calling them, just by texting them, take them out to coffee, something. Just let them know that they're not in it alone. So, on that, let's get started this week. Here's one of my favorite cookies of all time. Also, two cookies. Two, 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 two. I had to have dressed this morning the caramel apple and the pumpkin. Both of those need a dressing for, for uh, my cookies. Also, my PSA for the week. People, I'm telling you, if you go and pick up your cookies and you're one of those people that can't make it home without tasting a cookie, I understand it, I get it, but I've seen this tragedy too many times on websites and, and Facebook uh, groups and everything. Take the box of cookies and put it on the floor of the driver's side. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people say that somebody cut them off some, you know, the, 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 the turn too hard. And next thing you know, that's just a box full of mushed cookies. Put it on the floor next to you so that doesn't happen. And if you want to eat one on the way home, my suggestion to you, ask the crumble when you go in there that if you can get an extra empty single box cookie or uh, the box for the cookie, put the one that you want in there, put that next to you and put the rest on the floor because you are going to hate yourself. If you've seen how many pictures I've seen of people and it's always, you know, somebody always stopped in front of them, but we know the real deal. So let's get started. First cookie of the week. Look at this thing. Look at the, look at this. This is like, this is like the Giza pyramid here. It's got so many. It's got a cookie. It's got frosting. It's got chunks of stuff on there. It looks delicious. It's got caramel topping. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. So this is caramel apple. A warm cinnamon apple cookie topped with caramel cream cheese frosting, chopped Granny Smith apples, and a drizzle of real caramel and house-made streusel. You know I love streusel. And people, before we even get started, check it out. It's legit. It's a legit thing now. The Schmutzometer shirt. That's right. Brand new. Brand new. So let's get started. Uh oh. Ooh, crunch and schmutz and schmutz. Okay, let's take the look at the inside of this cookie. Oh. I got a crunch of apple. I got streusel. I got everything on this bite. <laughs> and I love Granny Smith's. And I only like Granny Smith apples in the fall. That streusel is delicious. That apple crunch is that I seriously that apple crunch is what makes that it, it makes it just feel so fresh when you bite into it good cookie good cookie oh that is good I can still taste the apple I can still taste that that's a good cookie the caramel everything that was perfect that was perfect whatever they did to it my people over in Schaumburg the crew, the morning crew, 
I must have blessed that one with a little extra love this morning. Man, that was a messy cook. Uh oh, uh oh. Mm -mm. Spaghetti. -o. Seriously, this is one of my top five cookies of all time. It's the Aggie Blue Mint. That's right. And many of you might not know this. It's called the Aggie Blue Mint because the founders of Crumble went to Utah State and their mascot is the Aggie. And their color is blue. All encompassing. So this is a universally loved cookie. Uh, cookies and cream cookie covered with delectable minty blue buttercream. You know, I love buttercream. Me and buttercream are like BFFs. Oh, wait. Molly, not too much schmutz, but that was a that was a rough cookie to get through. Looks like there's some white chocolate chips in here. See that right there at the end, right there, right there. Look at this! I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> that cookie is so dense and heavy. The mint is perfect. The cookies and cream in there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. Oh, that is that is good. That's not that. that Bite. It's not going to make it. All right. Next one. Pumpkin roll. I think oh my, uh, this is a big, fat, spongy cookie. It looks big. It looks fat. And I'm talking about P-H-A-T. Even the bottom you can see is kind of squishy. I think I got a little burn skin. A pumpkin cookie with a uh, perfect blend of autumn spices topped with a spiral of smooth vanilla cream cheese frosting. Now, let me get the schmutz off. All right, let's dig into it. Yeah, this thing is going to be a big old pillow. Yeah. Oh, it's got a little cry. I think the, the topping on that schmutz is pretty prevalent too. I think the, the, the brown topping on there is what gave it the crunch, but look how fluffy that is. Okay. Also, I did say that I would do this for one of my people that comment every week on my page. She wants me to bite the corn, the edge, the back here. That's for you, Haley. Pumpkin lovers. I even like it. You know why? I love the sponginess of, we're just so used to, people that don't like spongy cookies, you're going to hate it. Absolutely hate it. But I like the, the, I got the heavy cookie with the aggy. I got the regular cookie with the caramel. I got the spongy cookie with the pumpkin. The pumpkin spice is there. It's not too heavy, which is always my fear when you get something pumpkin-y or, or, or spicy, pumpkin spicy. That's good. I enjoy that cookie a lot. I can just eat that cookie plain. All right, so we got one more. We got the original featuring peanut butter M&M candies. I don't have too much representation of the candies on the front, but I do on the back. So this is our classic cookie studded with peanut butter M&M candies and stuffed with creamy peanut butter. <laughs> you know I love peanut butter! Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. What a baseball bat, what a baseball bat, what a baseball bat. Family guy, if anybody knows, Brian in his little banana suit. That's where that song comes from. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, crunchy munchy. Almost, almost a zero on the 
Schmutz meter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had to plug it twice. All right. Well, oh, there's the layer. See it? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Got the candy. Look at that. Got the candy. Got candy. Got candy. Got candies. Got candies everywhere. Delish. Delicious. Woohoo! That explosion of the peanut butter after you get the crunchy bites in there. Whoa! You know there's enough peanut butter in there when it's stuck to the roof of my mouth. Mmm! Mmm! That was good. Quality lineup this week. Quality lineup. All right, let's get started. Peanut butter. Seriously, with the peanut butter in the middle? Eight. That's an eight. It's an eight. The pumpkin, the pumpkin swirl, or what is it called? The pumpkin roll. The pumpkin roll. I enjoyed it. It's good. You pumpkin lovers, it's a 10 for you. Not for me. 7.75. Good cookie, though. Good cookie. Now, let's get to my Aggie Blue Mint. Honestly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that cookie except, yeah, there's really, well, uh, the minty flavor tasted a lot mintier last time. I'm going to the 925 on that one. 925. It's a good week, I'm telling you. It's a sneaky week. And the caramel apple. Gosh. I gotta go eight and a half. It is that good. It's the, the apple puts it over the edge. Puts it over the edge. So, if you're on the south side of Chicago, there is a breast cancer um, walk, south suburban uh, breast cancer walk. Michelle, the lady I mentioned earlier, you'll see her no one walks alone symbol on my uh, intro. Um, October 9th. Again, comment. Leave a comment to somebody, somebody's name that is a, that has affected you, that is affected by breast cancer in the comments if you wish. I'm the big dog. Word up. 